to me, it was just really like what I call like the epitome of a street album. It was just one of those albums that was so poorly promoted that it got out just by people just saying, hey, have you heard that new Thug Life? Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't Tupac, it right. was Thug Life, so you had no idea that it was Tupac. And then you, you picking up like, Thug Life, what the hell is this? We're like, oh yeah, that's, that's Pac. We're like, for real? And then you put it on, like, oh shit, you know, well, bury me a G, come on. And then, you know, it just kind of rolled 10 songs, and then that was it. Dead and Hip Hop, iconic album review, Tupac, Thug Life. Um, Actually, it's no, Thug Life. It's Thug Life. Thug Life. It's, it's just yeah, Thug Life. It's not Tupac. Yeah, it's, it's not Tupac. Group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> should have been Tupac, guy. Yeah, it should have been Tupac. Should it have? I think so. I mean, it, I, I didn't know. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. No, so, no like, go ahead, Ralph. Because my thing was like, it just was horribly promoted, in my opinion, because it's like, why do you just say Tupac and Thug Life like like people used to do back? Like, a lot of people did that back in the day. They would say. Biggie and Junior Mafia. Big, yeah, Biggie sure, and Junior sure, Mafia sure. and stuff like that. I always wondered why they didn't do that, because I think this album got skipped by a lot of people because of that. You just, you just said my point. Oh, okay. So, why are we talking about this? as an iconic album. Is this an iconic album? I was album? gonna ask the same yeah, thing when it came to me. I, I was, you know what? In my mind, when, when y'all said we're reviewing Thug Life, mm -hmm. for some reason in my mind, I was thinking- <laughs> It translated to Strictly from Yes, because I don't, I don't go back to this album. Yeah. Not this that it's bad, but I just yeah. don't. This was the album where, you know how we always talk about like, when you buy albums, you be like, ooh, I caught an L. Like this is the album where <laughs> you like, yeah. I a purchased bit, it yeah. and I was just like, cause pour out, pour out a little liquor, it sold me that. And oh yeah. That and um Bury straight ball. You ain't like Barry Me a G, G bro. Straight ball it, no. Nah. Stay well, true to the liquor. There's, yeah, a, stay there's true, some yeah. good jams on it. So I'm just talking about is initially, like when I saw when I heard part of Little Liquor, I was like, man, what is that off of? Like and I and I brought it off the strength. Which one was was which one was on uh, the but the real soundtrack? Part of Little Liquor. Part of Little liquor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I heard that, I was like, yo, I, I wanna get that project. And I brought it and I was like, mm, man. I like, thought this album had a few like like at least it half did. of it was solid to me. The what was solid? I thought at least half of this album was solid. No, no, no. The yeah, album yeah. isn't bad yeah, yeah, by yeah. any stretch of the. Mm -hmm. I, 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 the see, B has a different perspective because I didn't buy this when it came out mm -hmm. at all. Um, this was 1994. Were you buying mm -hmm. Tupac albums at all? Yes, yeah, so I like okay. Tupac only because my sister uh -huh. liked Tupac. Okay. And I was like, oh, this is cool. That's how I found about Tupac and Public Enemy was through my sister. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But there wasn't much mainstream rap that I was listening to. So I didn't hear this until probably a year after it came out. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, the main so reason is I don't, I never even heard about it. Bro, I'm almost positive that people watching this review haven't even heard of this shit. Like, it was big. It was big. It was big. It was big. Because when I saw um, how, they, how long would they mourn me, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'm How like, long okay. would it See, that's like four. That's like four songs right there that y'all yeah, named. Joints. Like, it's some joints on this. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it could have been another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was what killing it. Oh, oh, no, oh, was, oh, his we, voice was too low. Yeah, but yeah. man, they thought was killing that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, the beat was over. I wish it could have been another. How long would it moment? I remember watching an. Nine, okay, I'm, I'm on my nerdy shit. On watching 94 The Source Awards where he fucking interrupted Q Tip and he started performing Out on Bell. Y'all remember that song? Yeah, Out on Bell was like, that never was released. And, and that, that was supposed to be on his too. Like, that's and what I'm saying. When but I that was a Lucy though. Yeah, that exactly. was a Lucy. Like, yeah, yeah. He, perform, he performed at the 94 <laughs> Source Awards, man. Mm -hmm. I remember that shit. I was like, yo, Tupac riding on this shit. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, where's Out on Bell? Like, why is it not well, on here? So part of the backstory, and I didn't really know this at the time, um, was that a lot of the songs that they were planning to put on here, they didn't because they, didn't they were too controversial. It. There's a whole other album apparently. Yeah, like this was this was definitely like one of those albums that had clearly like slept on in his discography. Um, but you're talking about Topocalypse Now, which was which was cool, Strictly From a Niggas, who had really the big radio singles, right? Wow, and that, yeah. you know, and that, yeah, that yeah. joint with Ice Cube on it. Um, and then I think this, right, in 94. This was his third, yeah. It was like you said, poorly promoted. Didn't really know it came out. I didn't know this was put out on Tupac's label. I didn't know any of that backstory. And I, I, cause I'm trying to remember in 94, was it was I even subscribed to any hip hop magazines at the time? I right. can't even remember, I don't know. So for me, I came across this album more than likely at my cousin's house, going over there and, um, and they had it and then I listened to it. And you just, I mean, it was 94, like it was a gang of shit that came out mm -hmm. at that time. So clearly like this will probably get pushed to the back burner. My neighborhood, you know, my boy Evans, my boy Kerwin, like people I went to high school with and middle school with, they were the ones that was putting me on to West Coast music because I, I, I didn't know. So the last time I listened to this was like 98, 99. 
Yeah. I didn't even think you had heard it, to be honest yeah, with you. I thought I was going to come to this either. Huh? I wouldn't have been surprised if he hadn't heard it. Like, at the time, I, didn't, I wasn't into, like, hip-hop like that. I didn't know what, like, the streets was talking about. Like, mm. I didn't like I didn't really have a lot of people putting me on. So, like, this was just kind of like a, hey, listen to this because you should listen to it because it was dope. And then that was it. Like, I just kind of... So this album, that's the reason why I had the question too. Like, why, why is this iconic? Because I, I, nobody ever talks about this. Nobody ever says like, oh, this is something that you gotta go back. Like, this is no. a foundational type of album. Right. No, not at all. But I think that because of some of the songs on here, um, and I think maybe for for me at the time, because you know I I played this shit like a lot because there was songs on here that I liked, and I think you know it just. Rotating albums out and I think one of the things that I liked about this particular album is that when you're riding with your boys Like there are other stuff you could put on but you can put this on and not saying it's background noise But it kind of is because you can listen to it, but not listen to it while you're just riding Cause I'm 18. I was 18 when this came out hanging with the wrong crowd out in the streets going here going There like just doing shit and this was a good album you could put on bury me a G you know, pour out a little liquor. You know, my shit was under pressure. Like, yeah. that was aggressive, hardcore, you know, Tupac. It was so much dropping around that time. Yeah, I understand, like, this could be, you know, slept on and missed as part of his discography, but I, I still think it's... And, and the reason why because I'm... Because it's I'm not one, a part of his discography, though. No, it's right. But, yeah. yeah, it is. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's, it's a Thug not Life Tupac. album. Yeah. It's not too far. It's not part of. And the point is, nobody talks about. Unless yeah. you're real, nobody, nobody talks. No, about nobody it. don't. And I guess the question is, should they? I think it's one of those those like you said. I think you said it perfect. It's a street album. Like if you didn't know, if you didn't know about it, you just didn't know about it. Like yeah. people, like you said, you might go to somebody's house and be like, oh, what's that Thug Life album you got? Oh yeah, this is this is the group that Tupac put I together. Mean, maybe. He Maybe he just didn't want it. I don't know. Maybe they that was their vision. Maybe they didn't want to promote. Well, let's think about it, right? Like let's that. think about it. Like around that time, like you know, stuff was heavily pushed by real labels. And if he put this out on on, on his own label, yeah, how would it have gotten? It wasn't no true. internet. He was it wasn't popular. anything he was, like that. He was, he was super so, popular. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So how would it have really gotten out of there if it was just something he was trying to push himself? Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not iconic because it, it wasn't to the masses. Yeah. It's just one of those things that didn't get put out. Well, this did Mad Villainy, right? Like, I wasn't, me and you said that we wasn't put onto it. Mm -hmm. But Mike was like, yo, Underground was killing this. Like, okay. this is like a classic, iconic album. Right. Like, everybody that was in the know knew. It seems like not a lot of people was in the no, know. No, I, I did when I was talking to Kyle. Kyle knew about it. He said he, he played it like. Growing up, I knew about people it. People knew about it. People. Let's not front. This was not setting the streets on fire in 94. Oh, no, no. No, no it wasn't, but. So it what did. makes this iconic? I don't, I don't think like, like back then it was so much other shit. Like it didn't really have to set the streets on fire. Like That's now what I, I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Like now the expectations for hip hop albums are so high. Like anything that dropped had to set the streets on fire. Sometimes back then, from it's what just I some remember. Little gems. It's yeah. like it's something that you had. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm not giving man. passes. No, no. no. Iconic album should no. have done some work when it was released. Otherwise, what makes it an iconic album? If nobody talks about it then, right. and nobody's talking about but it But people now, talk about the songs though. Everybody knows what, that, that's what I think is iconic about it. You know all of these songs from it, but nobody talks about the actual album. It's like, hot, like straight balling, pour out a little liquid, bury me a G, under pressure. I mean, this is right, a lot of right. songs on an album that's not getting just right. due. But that doesn't make it an iconic album. How? Those, that's that what, that's what, I think that's what's interesting. Very important. But that's what I think it makes it but interesting, though. Attached to the album. Attached to the album. But album. nobody knows that. But that's no. what I'm saying. Like, like it, that's what makes it interesting, in my opinion. It is interesting. Yeah. But it's not iconic. In, in my opinion. In my personal, what what worthless, I'm, who gives a fuck opinion. I don't see this as an iconic Tupac Should it have project. been an iconic, I guess? Should it have been? I don't know, Let's honestly. say if it got the proper pr promotion. For people to say, well, this is an iconic project, for me, iconic would mean that it was doing work, people were talking about it, and it was very important to the culture. I personally don't see any of those three things being the case with this particular project. So here's my question. When did he introduce the Thug Life concept? And, I, and that's what I'm trying, and that's, mm. that's when that's I hear question. Thug Life, I'm like, so is this when Pac, like, right. this is they call, made that pivot? Is yeah, this when right. he made that pivot? When did he start saying the Thug, I'm a Thug, I'm a Thug, and Thug I for think, Tupac had like a positive um, right. yeah. meaning to it. But y'all are trying to, to take things that Pac was doing okay. and relate them to this album 
and say, well, the album's iconic because Pac was doing this. No, no. I'm not necessarily saying the album was. I'm saying, should it be iconic? I get that it's not, right? I get that, oh, okay. that, that nobody was talking about it and it didn't do the three things, what, what three of the things that you, that you mentioned, right? I get that it, didn't, it doesn't have those typical iconic accolades. But what I'm saying is that, should it had though? If it I got the proper know. promotion, I think so. I don't know if it should because I, I, think I, I so. like those. Okay, here's the thing. If it would have said, if it would have been Tupac and Thug Life, I think this matter. would have definitely been an iconic album. I don't know. I don't Ooh. know because when I think of Pac, mm. I don't think of this album. When I think of Pac, I think of what two jams off of this: "Pour Me a Liquor" and "Bury Me a G." Those Straight balling. No, like those so, hey, not oh, look, 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 look. Come on. Before, before we try to get this twisted, <laughs> I like this album. Yeah. Don't get it. Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> I like this album. In my opinion, before he died, yeah. Pac didn't put out any album that I thought was bad. Right. They were all good. This is a good project, but is it iconic? No. To me, absolutely not. Even after I left California, we were still like, oh, this dude gotta hear everything he does. We didn't do that for fucking Thug Life. Right. And, it not, and, not be, and even when I found out about this a year after, back then, I was still like, oh, well, I mean, I kind of see why we didn't hear about this. Really? If, yes. I, I wasn't. This particular project, it did not hit. I, but I, I think know it Rob's didn't. point is that it wasn't it promoting have. the push. It should have. And if Good. it would have, would it? Would we be looking at it in a different light? Maybe. But right now, <laughs> this album, I don't see how this is an iconic project. I, I get you. I, I, and like I said, I'm not disagreeing with that. You're I'm saying more, should it have been. I'm more saying should it have been. That's why I found this 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 iconic album review interesting. Because it's gonna put people on to something that they didn't even possibly know, and they can make this decision for themselves. Like, sure. oh man, this shit probably should have been iconic. All these songs on here, these well, are some gems. Possibly, but <laughs> like for us, we were around in that time. Like we were playing yeah. it. Like we were. It it, it has. It's, there's experiences attached to it. You know, for sure. For, for yeah, I'm talking about. But you're talking about the people that don't know. I'm thinking a Shit. younger demographic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they go back and listen to it, mm -hmm. it's going to sound dated. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it, and they're probably going to listen to Mo Prem and Big Psych and be like, I don't get it. Like, why them? Yeah. But Tupac has always had the why them artists on his label. He put his boys Shit. on yeah. Outlaws and stuff like that. That's yeah. just what he did. Yeah. So, but for us, it's just a different experience. So they're not going to hear it the same way. Weird yeah. or that I remember it. Right. Yeah, younger right. kids' brains don't work that way. No. They hear something and it does, if it doesn't sound like now, then it's whack. And I'm not even yeah. talking about the younger kids. I'm talking about people like yes, our age, our age are a little slightly look younger that might have missed it. I don't think that they'll put this because when I listen to something like this, and that's why I was laughing because whenever I think of uh, outlaws, I'm just like always. I liked them. But it, I remember so many dudes that were just like, I don't want to hear these other fucking guys. They were cool. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way, yo. Oh, yeah, you are one of them. That's right. You are one of them. They're just like, I just want to hear Pac. Yeah, I just want to hear Pac. With this album, it feels to me like when you listen to like a Horseshoe Gang album, it's automatically uh, Crooked Eye and them. Crooked Eye Brothers. Right. And, and all the dudes have bars. They are all spitters. But when you put it on, you're like, here's Crooked Eye. Okay, here's those other dudes. When I listen to this album, it's the yep. same thing. It's like, and I know it's a fucked up mental state to have, yes. but it's like, I listen to this and I'm like, okay, this is Tupac, and then, okay, here's those other guys. No, I get it. And you. it was kind of yeah. like that. I was like, then. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That, exactly. yeah. So, but yeah, it, was it was still, I, for me, it was like, it was still another Tupac album right after Street for Month. I mean, because that's what that's how it was positioned. It was like, <laughs> yes, you know that. It was like, I agree know, with you, this, though. Yeah, it's Tupac. 100%. It's this group, Tupac. This Tupac group. Or something, right. but it was always Tupac. But I like, thought it was a Tupac Ooh. album. I didn't know that it was a group. group when I put the shit yeah. on, I was like, why do you have all these motherfuckers <laughs> rapping? Oh, hey, I, want to, I thought okay, it was a Tupac okay. album. So I was like, okay, <laughs> because, what the fuck is going on right now? The, first, the songs that I heard was I Don't Bail, Pour Out a Little Liquor, and Straight Ballin'. All those songs are Tupac by himself. And there's songs so on like, here with him just by himself. Right, right. So I'm just saying, those songs, I'm like, who the hell is all these other guys? What? This almost like, sounded like a weird mixtape. Yeah, it doesn't come yeah. off like a, like a project. Yeah, back People then were playing, was, yeah. They, they were playing this shit though. This mm -hmm. shit, and I guess yeah. because it was Tupac, they got a new Tupac, but this, this shit this shit got some yeah. play. But a lot, enough to make it I 20 think, years later be like, that's an iconic I think it's, album. I think, it's, I think it's slept on. I, I think it's one of the albums that people... I feel like we gotta add another bucket in the iconic thing. Cause I, I feel like... There should have been bucket. I feel you though. Yeah, you feel you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I get yeah. you. 
I, I don't know if I agree yet. I got to think about it because I didn't think about it that way. Right. Should because, it have been iconic? Right, because who's... I, and I think this could be the start of a discussion, right? Like, mm -hmm. when you hear it, people are not going to... They don't... They won't automatically hear classic album. But I think nobody's having the discussion about, about the it, album yeah. at all. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but I know, I know, I know, that's but, that's right. Right. but no, no, but I, 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 that's not a strike. Maybe this is the start of that. Like I remember, like when I heard, like Marvin Gaye's "Here, My Dear" is one of his albums at the time, which just nobody was talking right. about, right? Because it was just, it, but now everybody's talking about right. it, right? Exactly. Because there were people that kept the conversation mm -hmm. going. Like when I heard, I was like, "Oh man, this shit is fucking dope." Yeah. Why are nobody talking about this fucking album? Now everybody's talking about the Why album. Is that? So, 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 and his, people didn't know him for being that depressing. Right. So then, right. why weren't people talking about this? You're saying it was just because of promotion. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust y'all on that because you guys. Yeah, it was, it was promotion. I have my ear to no, this I kind of. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't have a label back, and it was on his own label. So yeah, they was right, like, right. okay, well, fuck. All right, put it out, pop. You know okay, what so man? if he didn't have the label backing, then why did he take all those other songs off? Well, no, he still need label approval. Yeah. Some makeups and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of weird. I, I, I never understood that stuff. How do you have your own label, but you're... I don't know. It's just weird. Gotcha. I never... Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, that that was the thing. Like, because, you know, in preparing for this, I, I was like, okay, I got to look this up because I don't remember much media coverage about it. I don't remember the conversation around it. Nope. Like, what are people saying now? Okay, so then, so then the discussion now becomes... Should this be an iconic album? I think it should be. Because if okay. you go back, you see he had like four or five videos for every for like one the major songs. And the videos are actually dope. But, but I don't remember seeing really the video. Can't this just be a really good album though? Huh? Can't this just be a really good album? See, because this what type of impact did it have though? But I, 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 exactly. And even what type of impact does it have? Now, but I yeah, we can get the conversation started, uh -huh. but the music isn't that impactful. It like, is, I think though. the music is impactful. It is. And I think, wow. I think it's impactful. Like, it's as good. A, it's, it's good music, but it's not impactful. But it's not impactful. I, I think These are some of Pac's best songs. What are you talking about? Whoa, whoa, Straight whoa, 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 How long would you warn me? Like, like, this is some of his, these, these go up there in the These are not some of his best songs. These are great jams. I give you one more. I give you one more. Yeah, that's it. Which one? Top Listen, top I give you Poir a little liquor. Poir a little liquor. Yes, yeah. Under pressure. Under pressure. No, no, under pressure ain't no top ten. Tupac jam. Yeah. Under pressure. Bury me a G. 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 Might be a top twenty. Bury me a G. Might be top twenty. If we look at all the Tupac songs, right? Everything that he's ever dropped. Poir a little liquor on that. A lot of these joints ain't hitting the top ten. Tupac. Why was Why was top ten? I think it's top ten. Pac has a lot of really, really. Pac has a lot of good tracks. Top ten would be. Rough. It'll be yes. tough. Yeah. But it'll still be good pop songs. Yeah. Right. The, right. That's where I'm right. at. I think these are some of Pop's best, best, songs, best songs that people don't know about. Yeah. Yes, that's what absolutely. I'm yeah. But it, but, but and maybe guess, there's an emotional attachment to it. I don't to know. Be. But I don't know, man. Because just, Pop put I out some fucking amazing songs. He did. And but these I, are great jams. And I think these need but to be included. I think that's what hell yeah, they need to be included. From what I remember, is this this was like the first album where he and my from what I remember, he kind of really started repping the West Side, right? Like, I he, guess, yeah. It's strictly for my niggas and Tupac was not. He wasn't really like, like West Side. Like this album, and, 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 he was saying yeah. like he was he was really repping the West the West Coast. On his, I don't know. On his I, I I really honestly like, don't know. That's when he started repping the West Coast. You, it's hard to find any background information on this album. I wonder why. The, the, it wasn't what, a push it was Not an iconic album. It a was great Tupac and them album. <laughs> no man. That's how, no, no, that's not no, he's he's right. Right. because he's right. like I said, I know you're not these on guys them. are rappers, all of them could rap, but I bet even they would tell you that they did not get the chance that they should have had because this was looked at as a Tupac and them album. I'm telling you. And, and I know people are going to watch this and be like, man, Mike's shitting on this album. I'm he's not. <laughs> this is a great album. Iconic. No, I think that hip hop dudes are just so easy to want to call something classic <clears throat> or make it way more important than it is. Let the shit be a dope album. It's just a dope album. That's it. It didn't change anything. It didn't impact anything. Right. That's why I said I feel like it needs to be another bucket to that. Oh, did it change? <laughs> Always trying to make. <laughs> no, man. All right, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna name this one. Should it have been iconic? Okay, right. You didn't really say much in the review, man. Wow. No, nah, they, they 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 took it off because. I didn't have that much of a connection to this. Like when I want to listen to Pac, I don't go back to this like at all. You know what I'm saying? You 
and, and and I start like I said um in part of the review like I started this like a Tupac. I thought to this day in 2017 I thought this was a Tupac album. And and, and I know that we're gonna go. You know why is this an iconic album to you? I, I want to pose the question to y'all or to, to to the people watching. Like, should this be an iconic? I think yes, I think that was like the theme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That that was kind of like the theme of this review. Should this be iconic? And you know, just based off of Mike's criteria, I, I and and I think classic and iconic and all of that, it, it it should fall into at least two out of those three categories. You know what I'm saying? And and it, this to me just doesn't. So. For me, I don't think that this should be an iconic. But does album. it fall into those categories because that's what the media pushes, or that's what like? Thank you, Rob. You know, nah. Because you know what? Here's the thing. I think that this album would have just had. It, it would still be talked about when you talk about Tupac, and because it doesn't get brought up, it's not iconic. It's not one of his best works. Now, we're not saying that it's bad it's just not on par with everything else that is great from Tupac and because of that it's not iconic for me so should this be iconic I don't I don't I don't see a reason why I really don't I don't see why hip-hop fans can't just let shit be dope and that's it if it didn't if it didn't impact the industry if it didn't set a new standard for rap if it didn't influence future albums I don't see how it is, was, or should be. Personally, I think it's just a great album. And that's it. If there's something I'm missing with this Thug Life album, let me know. But right now, I don't really see why we have to say this is an iconic album. B, should it be iconic? Because, um, I mean, at least for me, and I'm just judging on my personal experience. Like I said, I heard I don't bail. I was like, oh man, that's not on there. Quite a little liquor, okay, cool. But when I purchased the album, it was only like a few jams on there that I liked. As just enjoying the whole album as a whole. I've always, and I'll say this on camera again, all I wanted was Tupac. I never cared for the for the rest of Thug Life. I never cared for Outlaws. I just like Tupac. So as a fan, I was just like, who are these other dudes? Why are they rapping? Just give me Tupac. Wow. And then, yeah. Really? I, That's mm -hmm. how you felt? Oh, yeah. I, I thought felt, those dudes could rap. I always yeah. felt that way. Never, and they sounded didn't, good. Didn't care for them at all. Never Low cared cream? for them. You didn't never, like him at all? Never cared for none of them. I just wanted pop. Damn, and this album was, a, it was like a letdown for me. Like when I, it was like I said, it was one of the albums where I was like, damn, I spent $13.99 on this. <laughs> ah, I was mad. I was mad, man. So, no, I don't think this should be iconic album. Is this some great, is this some good jams on there? Yes. I'll, I'll be stupid to deny that. I mean, we just, yeah. we just sat here and named the, the jams that was on there. But overall, Raw, no, this is not iconic. Should this be iconic? I think we should have that conversation. I think it should be we in the have it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think, Right, but I think just beyond It's a good us, conversation. Right, because I think it's just an overlooked Tupac album. And because it's overlooked, nobody considers it that. But you should know. it be though? But should so, it be iconic though? I, I think it should because I, I think this, this, I think this is the beginning. I don't know. I I I I don't know exactly 100 percent sure. I don't think it's a blip in in Tupac's discography. But and if it's not, but a, we're not making right, but it I, that. But but I also think that we should. I think this could be the beginning of this whole thug life thing. I didn't hear about this album until a year after it came out. Not yeah, a word. Yeah, same, same. Not a word. Say I don't know if it was a year, maybe a little less than a year. Yeah. But I remember, like I said, I remember going to someone's house. It was my boy Bobby, his brother, he was always older. He put us on, on to the Wu-Tang and all the other shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, he always had shit. And it was just like, damn, what? I totally missed it. Yeah. So to me, I was like, oh, that shit was, because I was heavy. I was bigger than your pop. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how the hell did I miss something that Pac is on? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why I personally say that it wasn't promoted. And then when sure. I go back and look, and even and like even on the wikis and just the Googles, it's still like not promoted. Like it's still, like people still don't know about it. So, you know, I don't know. All right.